What's up guys, Le here. You know, I've gotten so many requests to do a video about Jamie's Beagles, and that's exactly what today's video is gonna be about. So without further ado, I present to you Ritzy and Sookie. Okay guys, so Sookie here is the older of the two. Jamie got her about nine years ago. The way that she tells it is that she was driving and on the side of the road there was a guy selling hunting dogs. And you know, she was just at a point in her life when she wanted a dog. Her son Xander was pushing her to get one on top of that. And she always liked Beagle, so it just seemed like the perfect fit. And the name Sookie came to be because around that time, Jamie was really fascinated with the show True Bloods. And one of the characters she thought was super beautiful on that show was named Sookie. And Sookie's obviously really beautiful, so that's how her name came to be. Okay, so Sookie's really good at catching food out of midair. I know that all beagles are known for loving food, but uh, Sookie is just the best at it. Watch this. Look at that. Dang, Sook, you're so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I'm here with Ritzy now. Ritzy is the younger of the two. Jamie got her about five years ago. Ritzy was actually a rescue. So Jamie and her brother were playing golf one day and they saw a dog laying out on the side of the golf course that just looked deathly ill. So she immediately took her to the vet and it turned out that she had parvo and they actually didn't expect her to make it. But sure enough, they were able to nurture her back to health and now Ritzy is alive and well and doing better than ever in fact. So Ritzy's name came about because all growing up, Jamie's nickname was Ritzy. It's what her grandfather and everybody else called her. So she thought it would be a really special name for this dog to carry on. And that's actually how I remembered their names when I first met them. I just tried to tell myself that, okay, Ritzy is the lighter one and Jamie, Ritzy, has really light hair. So if you're gonna have trouble remembering which one is which, that's what I would go with. All right, some interesting things about Ritzy include that she is the more lethargic of the two. Suki always loves to be in the middle of the action whenever something goes on, and Ritzy prefers to just sit back and watch and observe. And Ritzy's special talent is that she is super obedient. So here, watch this. Ritzy, sit. Good girl, shake. Shake. Good girl, Ritzy, you're doing so good. Other paw. Oh, she did the same paw. That's okay. Good girl, Ritzy. Ritzy, shake. Good girl. Oh, she did do both paws. But um, you have to be careful about one thing. Ritzy still has a lot of trauma from all the IVs in her paws because of the parvo. So you can't really shake her paw. You just have to hold your hand out like this and she'll put her paw in it. You're doing so good, Ritzy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed the story of Jamie's Beagles. You know, I do have to admit, I also have a soft spot for beagles because Brian on my favorite TV show, Family Guy, is also a beagle. Just saying. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.